Today I'm going to be drawing some passion flowers using only these blue Prismacolor colored pencils. This is the third drawing that I've done in this style of like a monochrome drawing. Um, I've also drawn a green floral scape with a butterfly and a purple mimosa tree. And I actually made a video about the purple mimosas, so make sure to watch that if you haven't seen it yet. I took the reference photo for this drawing while I was running outside next to the river and I came across these crazy weird looking passion flowers. And if you've never seen these before, you have to look for some. They're so weird and they're like the craziest flowers I've ever seen. They're bright purple with these really skinny curly petals and they're really cool. I chose blue for this drawing because I thought that the blue's calmness would balance out the craziness of all the flower petals. These passion flower petals kind of get tangled up with each other. They go all crazy different directions. And so I just wanted to bring a little bit of a balance to it. I'm using Prismacolor colored pencils in the shade True Blue. And I am using hot press watercolor paper. And watercolor paper comes in two different kinds, hot press or cold press. Cold press is the really bumpy textured kind of watercolor paper that most people use. Um, and hot press is really smooth, so it doesn't have that rough texture to it. It's also a very soft paper, so it just grabs onto the pencil's pigment and lets it sink in a little bit. So you don't really see a lot of the individual pencil streaks, which I really like. When I draw, I usually start with a really light outline with no details. And you might notice that it looks like I'm finishing this drawing in rectangles. And that's because I use a grid at first so that the beginning outline has the right proportions and is in the right place on the paper. And I leave the grid drawn and it kind of just disappears as I finish the artwork. I really like drawing this way because it makes it super easy to have an end point. So most days when I worked on this drawing, I was just like, okay, I'll stop when I finished two sections. And so it makes it seem a lot more doable for me instead of seeing a giant blank white piece of paper that I have to finish. It's a little bit easier to break it up into sections.
And it wouldn't be an art video without an appearance from Harlow. She just has to have attention. Harlow. Do you mind? I wanted to try something different for this drawing, so for the last section, I did it in a lighter blue. For the other two monochrome drawings that I've done, I just used the same shade of pencil the whole way through, but for this one, I did do one section that was a little bit lighter. And I chose this section that I did because I thought it was interesting with the middle of the flower, and it was also in a really good placement in that lower third of the paper. It didn't turn out as noticeable as I would have liked because the colored pencil ended up not being light enough. So it just kind of blends into the rest of the drawing because it's not different enough. And I think I was too scared that if it was too light, you wouldn't be able to see all the details in that section, but it's okay. It still looks fine. And I know next time to go even lighter than what I think is necessary. And y'all know that peeling the tape is the best part. It's so satisfying. <laughs> turned out. I think it's so crazy with all the tiny little details with the wonky petals. My favorite part is the top right corner. I think that the leaves and shadows were really successful in that area and the shadows created by the top leaves really emphasize the space and make it seem more realistic. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this inspires you to find some passion flowers in the wild and see how weird they are in real life. So I will see you later.